let's talk about The Power by Naomi Alderman. I have literally just finished reading this book. Five minutes ago, I read the final page. I don't think that you should read this book. And I'm not saying that from the perspective of someone who believes in banning controversial books. Of course, this book shouldn't be banned, but I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. So to give you a bit of introduction to the book, Basically, um, all the women in the world slowly kind of develop or receive this skein, which is kind of an additional organ um, of power that kind of goes across your collarbone and it gives you the power to shock people. And um, no men have this power, it's only women. There begins a kind of power switch, so the women kind of gain power the men lose power. As you would expect, if one gender suddenly developed a superpower, it would immediately rise to dominate the world. I thought that was a really fascinating concept. So I was very excited to read this. And for the first few pages, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's well written. It's very interestingly framed. It's kind of got this novel within a novel perspective going on. Um, and it only becomes clear why that is at the very end. I think that the writing is excellent. I think that it's captivating and I was very excited by the concept of the book. Um, and I think that Naomi Elderman could have done something really progressive and exciting um, and really made you think about power and gender and all kinds of other important topics. And she didn't. She instead wrote a thriller. So, you know, The Guardian's review on the front cover is accurate, is a thriller. Um, it is absolutely littered with rape scenes. I couldn't recommend this to anybody. They're rape scenes of men and they are described in vivid graphic detail. Um, it is upsetting, it is nasty, it is hurtful to read about. I found the writing really disturbing and difficult and the most trigger warning worthy thing I've ever read. I don't really understand why you would want to read such graphic things and I understand that there is a time and a place for talking about difficult topics, I'm not opposed to that at all. I read more than my fair share of speculative fiction, science fiction, horrors, thrillers and I always do struggle with scenes of sexual assault and these were particularly bad and I understand that she wanted to shock the reader and I don't think that's a good enough reason. I know that some people might think that because it's not women that this is happening to, it wouldn't be as nasty to read. It's a subversion of what usually happens to women. Um, this is what happens to women every single day. Um, it also happens to men every single day in reality. Um, I understand any point you can make about why she would have chosen to include these scenes. And I counter that and say that her writing of them is appalling. I was shaken to my very core at the detail that she decided to include in this. And I honestly, I couldn't recommend this book to anyone. I think it goes beyond nasty. I don't think they were necessary. I think she wanted to shock, she wanted to scare her reader. And as the reader, I didn't enjoy that. I don't look to be horrified by the books I read and I don't know very many people who do. I don't think that it taught us anything we didn't know about humanity. If the book was supposed to teach you about how power comes in cycles and the physically stronger or more capable sex is the one that is going to dominate humanity, we could have already guessed that. So that was the first thing I hated about this novel. The second thing I hated was this attitude towards the power because I felt like it represented women and represented humanity in general quite negatively. I was just really sad um, by this idea that evil is everyone's go-to. And I guess maybe sad is the wrong word because that makes it sound like I'm just feeling emotional about the book. Um, I just think it's a fundamental aspect of the novel that I disagree with. I think that if I was going to have written it, I would have written it from a very different perspective. And I would have written it from the perspective of hope, of change, of progression. And that's not to say there wouldn't have been violence or conflict in the novel, not at all. But I think that its portrayal of this dystopian society um, as so corrupt, so consumed by evil, is quite one-sided. 
I don't think it's particularly nuanced and I don't think it's particularly realistic either. Obviously it's hard to imagine how this novel would be realistic. Imagine everyone getting a superpower, that's just not gonna happen. But I found it difficult to believe in the novel and to believe that's how things would have worked out, to believe that's what people would have chosen to do, um, to believe that's how um, everyone would have behaved. Now maybe I'm wrong, maybe a more cynical reader would have read this and been like, yep, that's what's going to happen. Maybe I just kind of have a naivety or far too much hope about people's internal character. Um, but nonetheless, that is the second reason that I hated this book. So the third thing I hated about this book was the way that the women got the power. So they got them from these schemes. Um, I didn't have a problem with that in itself, but I did have a problem with the fact that it was never explained. We have this kind of very religious subplot, undertone, thing that becomes cultish and drives the novel and shapes its ending um, but it's not clear so is this something religious this isn't science fiction because the science or whatever's happened hasn't been explained so it's a miracle from a god who takes the christian faith and subverts it to give women the power who is she where has she come from why is she suddenly speaking to women what it's never explained unless I've missed something. Maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe I missed the chapter or the page where they explained it. I think it just casts the novel into this kind of ridiculousness. It's completely implausible. It would have been so easy to write something plausible. And so it feels a bit lazy to have written something implausible, if that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. Please tell me again in the comments what you thought of this book. Whether you agree with me, disagree with me, I would love to be disagreed with. Not because I want to argue with you, but just because I like hearing other people's thoughts. And I like being forced to reconsider my own opinions on different books. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. You can also follow my Instagram at Bells Books. Bye.